Cut again from Tony. Tony on the level change. Swing and the miss from Razor Ruddock. <laughs> the morning after. I need this coffee bad. I'm feeling like James Tony and Razor Ruddock in the fifth. <laughs> Listen, speaking of which, James Tony versus Razor Ruddock. Their ring entrance says it all. <laughs> Made famous in the late 1980s and early mid 19. Brother, listen, I got, I have two surgically repaired knees. <laughs> all right, I've I've blown the my patellar tendon in both my knees, a hundred percent rupture. So when I tell you I'm a bad knees kind of sore, I am. James Tony going down the stairs was one of the more relatable things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Made famous in the late 1980s and early mid 1990s. <laughs> Brother, did you see Razor Ruddick? That man had more taco meat in the skillet than, <laughs> than anybody I've ever seen. Did you see his face? He had a look on his face that was like, what the hell am I doing here? Including Mike Dyson twice. He's a two-time Canadian heavyweight champion. And that's the black George August. <laughs> ah, bro, listen, Razor Ruddick, there was a moment, I think in the sixth round, where James Tony shoulder rolled. A hook from Razor Ruddick. One of those powerful, strong, old ass, dangerous hooks. James Tony shoulder rolled it so smooth that Razor Ruddick almost blew out his both his knees, his back, his hip. Tony on the level change. Level change. <laughs> yo, yo, he walked off. He swung this and tried to recover. He walked off. Looking like a baby giraffe. <laughs> Change. Swing and the miss from Razor Rudder. <laughs> but, but let me tell you something. Beautiful. One of the more entertaining fights I've ever seen in my life. Beautiful. Listen, I am down to watch legends, old farts, fight it out in a full card. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I have no idea. I, I must be on an island. Because I, it was just incredibly entertaining. Incredibly entertaining. I would love to know how you guys feel in the comments below about it. I may be by myself. Because I saw some stuff on X. And people were like, get this shit out of here. But I was, I, I mean, I was fully entertained. I must be a weird one. All right? Alex Pereira. Listen. Alex Pereira is unstoppable. To the point where... I know I got people moist last night. You know, people were pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty irritated when I made this comment. But after what he did with Yuri Prohashka, you get, you get the feeling that Alex only lost to Izzy finally because he was weight trained. Listen, when Alex went into the ring last night at light heavyweight, he ain't have a, a, a shred of fat on him. All right. And he went up an entire weight. All right, you saw him against Blahovich. Against Izzy, you can just, yeah, Izzy knocked him out, but you just feel, you get the feeling that Alex kind of rushed it. And Alex, because he didn't, he lost his title. They split 1 1 in the octagon, and he didn't even, he's not even, he didn't even consider fighting him again in, a, in another, in a, in a rubber match or anything. He just went straight up. He didn't, he, listen, I've been whooping this dude. I beat this guy three times in a row. He finally got me. I'm so weight drained. That's just the feeling you get. And I want to say this about last night. Everybody who thinks that fight ended early with Yuri Prohoshka, you're sick in the head. You're as sick as I am, all right, for loving James Tony versus Razor Ruddick. But here's the thing. The hook combination that dropped Yuri, dropped him down, was damaging, but Yuri still went for the, he, he went for the double leg, but he was done then. When he went for the double leg, when Alex started raining down elbows and Yuri body limped, like he was raining down elbows directly on the temple, like bam, bam, bam. And Yuri just limped and fell back. 
I was like, please stop it before Alex started raining down hammer fists. Because I'm telling you, Yuri would have woken up this morning different. He would have woken up this morning different. That's all. And I don't need to see that. Okay? I know I love violence, but I don't need to see somebody permanently changed. All right? Like he just got out the ring with Drago. Speaking of which, Alex, before the fight, was looking at Yuri Prohashka and didn't blink for four minutes. The guy is different. He's some kind of mutant, all right? I think he's unstoppable. I'm not sure who can beat him, okay? This guy is a straight-up mutant. I would love to know what y'all think in the comments below. Show biz for adult. Everybody, don't get moist, all right? <laughs> because I'm a bigger fan of Izzy than I am of Alex Pereira. But it is what it is. The guy, look, beating Izzy, beating Blahovich, beating um, Yuri Prohashka last, I don't know who can beat him. I'm out.